Most of you know that I largely cover Great Lakes, shipwrecks, and assorted events. In this case, uh, this one took place pretty close to where I live. And since it's maritime history, I decided that uh, I'd cover it. For those of you who don't know, or who may have not gotten clear information, on March 26, 2024, about uh, 1.29 Eastern Time, the 947-foot-long Singapore-flagged container ship, Dolly, was transiting out of the harbor of Baltimore, Maryland. It experienced a loss of electrical power and propulsion and struck the southern pier supporting the central truss spans of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, also known as the Key Bridge. A portion of the bridge collapsed into the river and portions of the deck and truss spans collapsed onto the vessel's forward deck. Today, on June 24th, 2024, the wreck of the Dolly left Baltimore Harbor and sailed down the Chesapeake Bay for Norfolk. In doing so, sailed right past my house. How could I resist? Going and getting out my video camera and shooting some video. And here it is. Here we see her as she approaches the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Now, just for safety's sake, they stopped traffic on the Bay Bridge, which probably backed up Route 50 for miles. But there's good reason for that. It wasn't that they thought that the Dolly, which was under her own power, might again collide with the bridge because she was surrounded by three tugs. No, it's because Maryland drivers are gawkers. They love to gawk at accidents or anything else along the roadside so they don't hesitate to stop and get out their phones and take pictures. Now take notice here of the size of this vessel as it approaches this bridge. Now fortunately my camcorder has a great zoom on it so uh, this is you're looking seven miles north of where I live and you can see here that uh, she's moving at a pretty good pace underneath the bridge. Now she's getting closer and as she got within about two miles of my house I was able to zoom in and give you a really good look at this vessel. Now the Coast Guard has been doing its best to protect us from this vessel so they have a cutter alongside and the NTSB has filed a preliminary report. Basically what it says is that the crew were all examined and tested. And no one was found to be under the influence of alcohol or drugs of any sort. Additionally, the fuel which was in question was tested and it was found to be uncontaminated by anything. So those two sources of the problem were pretty much checked off. The big problem was an electrical failure and they're still examining to see what caused the electrical failure to occur the way it did. The news is that while this vessel was at the dock in Baltimore it had two similar failures. So the NTSB is continuing to investigate. Now. Coming up here is, well, my wife told me to do this. She said, wait there and see if you get a better angle on this. And look at this one. This is great. You can actually see the sky and the light between the stacks of containers. And you get to see just how much damage was done to this vessel. And if you look closely, you can see she's hogged just a little bit. I don't know if that'll have anything to do with whether or not they scrap her or they just repair her and repaint her and give her a new name. But that's the Dolly. Say goodbye.